Iris, uh, tell us what exactly took place today. What we saw overnight was um, dozens or hundreds, it's not clear, of young Palestinians protesting. Um, and then in the end, that protest turned violent. We saw at this biblical site, which is in the Palestinian area. It's just outside Nablus, near the Balata refugee camp. But um, it is a Jewish holy site there. And they began throwing firebombs. At that moment, it was the Palestinian forces who are in control there who intervened to stop it. Uh, but Israeli reaction has been severe. We have heard the representative of the Foreign Office, of Israel's Foreign Office, saying this is a sign, this is what you would expect from ISIS. This is a sign that the holy sites have to remain in Jewish hands because it's the only way they can be safe. And Israel says it will try to find the perpetrators of this attack. Uh, but Iris, despite this attack, then, this arson attack that we saw, the West Bank, it is quieter than we've seen in the past. That's true. The focus of this um, uprising, intifada, instafada, tweetafada, whatever name you want to give it, has actually been Jerusalem. The area around Jerusalem is where most of the attackers come from. And while there are some protests and clashes across the West Bank, it's not at the same pitch as it is here, nor is it at the same pitch that it is in Gaza. Most of the Palestinians who have died have either been attackers who are killed inside Israel carrying out their attacks or they've been from Gaza. And once again today we are expecting that Gazans will be coming to the border fence and trying to cross into Israel. Every other time they've done that over the past two weeks it has resulted in deaths and I think we may be seeing that again today there. Um, I think that's likely to be more tense than the West Bank. Iris, thank you for that. Iris Mackler reporting from Jerusalem.